Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 16th of 2023. Well, it is titled Moon Enhanced. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon. And while it will not look like an ordinary image of our moon, uh, because of the way it has been processed, but it's been done to bring out more detail and to allow us to see more detail on the surface of the moon. So what was done was to take multiple images and enhance them to make the surface features more visible. Now when we look at ordinary pictures of our moon, they tend to get a little bit washed out. The closer things are to the edge, the terminator, which is the line between day and night, the longer the shadows and the more detail we see. So objects in this case, in an ordinary picture of our moon, especially on the right hand side, would be very washed out because the sun would be up high overhead and not casting very long shadows and not giving us very much detail. But through image processing, we can actually are able to see far more detail here than we ever would be able to otherwise. And what do we see? Well, we see the Maria, the flat seas, which are actually lava flows from many billions of years ago, if we looked at the moon, and there would be great they were great impact basins that were flooded maybe three and a half billion years ago by lava flows from the interior. And that would have wiped out any craters that had been present before. So it tells us the number of craters that we see between the Maria, the darker areas and the lighter col colored highlands tells us how long that surface has been exposed to space and to impacts from meteors. So the lesser impacted areas are relatively young they were formed more recently, maybe three and a half billion years ago. Whereas the heavily cratered highlands such as the region down towards the bottom here, maybe four to even four and a half billion years old, and have had far more time for cratering uh, to occur. And they have craters on top of craters and overlapping craters that have occurred. Now, when we uh, look at this in the coloration is actually adjusted to show us a little bit about the composition. So the coloring that we see here is not the colors that you would see with the moon. But they have been enhanced to show the composition. So regions that look a little bluer are rich in iron. And those that look a little more orange are enriched in heat aluminum. So it is not that there is a lot of iron there or a lot of aluminum necessarily, but they have a higher concentration than the rest of the moon overall. So here we get to see a very detailed image of the moon put together from multiple images to allow us to see more of the structures and then color enhance to show us the concentrations of iron and aluminum on its surface. So that was our picture of the day for January 16th of 2023. It was titled Moon Enhanced. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.